Ginseng is a common name for about six species of plants that have been um, highly prized for their roots in general. Uh, there's really two varieties of ginseng that are commercially grown, and those are American ginseng, which is Panax kinkafolius, and Asian ginseng, which is Panax ginseng. And the word ginseng actually stands for two Chinese characters that together say man root, because sometimes ginseng roots do tend to resemble a human figure. Well, ginseng is just refers to these, uh, these plants in general. There's generally two ways of growing ginseng in a forest situation. The first would be called woods cultivated. Woods cultivated ginseng is defined by the fact that some sort of mechanical tillage is utilized to prepare the planting site. But essentially, woods cultivated ginseng is grown in beds, and those beds are prepared by some sort of mechanical cultivation. Typically, it's going to require some sort of spraying for diseases because the plants are going to be crowded and you will end up with roots that will grow fairly large, fairly quickly, but they will not really resemble wild ginseng, which of course is going to be the most highly prized ginseng. Wild simulated ginseng is ginseng that is grown without using any sort of mechanical implements to till the soil. The only tools that are used are hand tools, such as rakes and grub axes and things like that, um, scratches for the soil, but basically no mechanical tillage. And typically that will be planted at a much, much lower rate. 20 pounds per acre would be about an appropriate planting rate for wild simulated ginseng. And that's going to result in ideally about one plant per square foot. So that's the population that you'd be shooting at. And quite often with wild simulated ginseng, you do not need to, uh, to spray. You generally don't need to use any pesticides. And of course, we certainly wouldn't want to use any fertilizers in wild simulated ginseng because we want to develop a wild looking root. In woods cultivated ginseng, you might very well be adding a little bit of fertilizer, again, to try to get a big root as quick as possible. The yields from woods cultivated ginseng are going to be much, much higher than wild simulated ginseng. You might get six, eight hundred pounds, or maybe a thousand pounds or more of dried root from an acre of woods cultivated ginseng, whereas a really good yield of wild simulated ginseng for an acre would be two or three hundred pounds of root. The difference lies in the price that you'll receive for those roots. Right now, wild simulated ginseng is selling for six to eight hundred dollars, I should say, per dried pound in New York. Uh, depending on how old it is, that would be for a typically eight to twelve year old root. Um, woods cultivated ginseng might bring about half that price. Wild ginseng would probably sell, again, from New York, wild ginseng would sell for somewhere in a neighborhood of eight hundred to a thousand dollars a pound. So. Wild simulated will bring prices that are close to the prices that are being paid for wild, especially if it's grown on a good site and the roots are big and healthy and vigorous and uh, don't have any evidence of disease.